Hey Fit Moms, welcome to your full body flow workout. Make sure before doing this routine that you've checked in with your healthcare provider, OB or midwife to make sure that this is appropriate for you. So what to expect with this routine, you're gonna be using a stability ball, have a mat handy and your water. This routine is just gonna be light and flowy, therapeutic, getting your upper, your lower, as well as your core. I hope you enjoy the workout and let me know how it goes. Now the workout involves two rounds. The moves are the following with a stability ball. Wall squats, wall squat hold, push-ups, plank hold, squat presses, squat taps, side crunches, bridges. Hey Fit Moms, welcome to your full body flow workout. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can stay up to date with all of our awesome workouts throughout pregnancy and beyond. And definitely like the video if it helped you out. So today, all you need is a stability ball and your water, and we're gonna go ahead and get started. So we're gonna start with some around the world. You're gonna grab the ball, nice wide stance. We're gonna get down into that sumo position, and we're just gonna go around the world lengthen those arms now my ball does have some sand in it um, so that if you do hear that swishing sound that's what it is now we're gonna go the opposite way just lengthening engaging our legs pushing our knees out nice and smooth and control just warming up the body and then from here we're just gonna stand up we're just gonna slice up and down let's just do that one more time just engaging the shoulder girdle and relax. From here, we're gonna take that ball and we're gonna put it along the wall and it's in the small of my back. My feet are about a little bit more than shoulder width apart because I'm making room for baby. And we're gonna do some wall squats. Watch me first, we're just gonna come down and then drive straight up. Here we go. Nice and smooth. As I'm standing, I'm gently just tightening my quads, squeezing my glutes a little bit, nice and controlled. There's no hurry, there's no rush. We're just using the ball today to get more of a therapeutic effect, therapeutic feel, still engaging our muscles, moving our body, just giving us a little bit more support. Nice and controlled, not holding your breath, loading those legs, and relax. So from here, we're going to, I'm gonna reposition the ball a little bit, and if you need to do that, that's totally fine, because sometimes it may slide down, now we're gonna squat hold. So we're gonna come down, my hips are back, loading our quads, and we're just gonna breathe. Keeping the shoulder blades back, not holding our breath. And again, you should feel more of the weight on the heels of your foot. We are almost done, don't hold your breath. Keep those shoulder blades back, allow that ball to support you. Just a few more seconds, hang in there. We're almost done. And relax, nicely done. We're gonna turn around, the ball is still gonna be on the wall, and we're gonna do ball push-ups. So our hands are gonna be placed on the wall right in front of our shoulder girdle, okay? Taking our time, so I'm gonna turn here. I'm arm distance away, nice comfortable stance. Here we go, nice and slow pushing away. Making sure you should not feel too much tension in your abs. There should be no doming or coning or anything of that nature. You should just have a little bit of tension in the arms, shoulders, not holding our breath. Inhale as we lower, exhale as we press. Nice and smooth and controlled. We're almost done. Good job and relax. So from here, the ball is gonna stay along the wall, but now I'm gonna have my forearm on it instead of my hand, and we're gonna do a plank hold, okay? So my forearms are here, and we're going to begin. Exhale. So keeping the shoulder girdle engaged, the back flat, I'm not dipping, right? I'm not sticking my hips too far back. Just gentle engagement of your core, and if at any time you feel like you need to stop or reposition, that is totally fine. Deep, slow, controlled breaths. 
and relax. We're gonna take that ball off the wall, and our next one here, we're gonna squat and press. Okay, so the ball's gonna be in front, I'm gonna squat down, press that ball up. So the ball is giving me just a little bit of resistance. It's not too heavy, so we're not using our dumbbells or TheraBands today. Nice and smooth and controlled, keeping my chest up, pressing it up. We're almost done. Nice job, guys. Loading the legs, a little bit of core, and relax. Go ahead and set your ball down. Shake out the arms a little bit. We're gonna repeat that exercise. We're gonna change it a little bit. This time, you're going to squat, and you're gonna tap. So my one leg is going to the right, and my arms are going to the left. Here we go. So you got a nice squat and tap. Nice and smooth and controlled. Now the length of how far you push away is totally up to you. Using the ball to disengage our core. So I'm squeezing my glute as I tap out, breathing out, engaging my arms, keeping them strong, getting my hips back as I squat. Good job, last one and relax. You guys are doing awesome. I'm gonna set the ball down. I'm gonna grab my mat. So definitely grab yours too. And we're gonna finish up with a few exercises on the mat. So from here, my, the inside leg, so for me it's my left leg, is bent. And I'm leaning on the ball. So this, my left arm, so my inside left leg is bent. My left arm is just gently hugging. My right leg is out. I'm gonna show it to you first. And all we're doing is side crunching. So I can do just my upper, or if you've done this before, we can do upper and lower, okay? Here we go. So nice and controlled. You find the position that works for you. We're not going really fast. And I'm alternating. I'm doing upper and then doing both just for a side oblique crunch while the ball, the ball supports my opposite side, giving some support to my rib cage. Breathing out, nice and controlled. And again, you don't have to lift the leg, you can stay right here and we're done. Take your time, there's no hurry, no rush. Allow your body to reposition. I'm gonna switch. So now the ball is gonna be on my opposite side. My inside leg again is bent. That arm closest to the ball is gonna hug the ball. So the ball is on, kind of like on my rib cage. It's not too high up because I don't want it to slip from underneath me. So from here, I'm gonna place my hands behind my head. Take your breath and here we go. So I can do upper or upper and lower. Again, not thrusting, find the height that works for you, your body, and your baby, right? So you're doing this together with your bundle of joy, making sure to listen to your body. Every day is gonna present a little bit different, right? Your energy may be different, how you're feeling. So give yourself some grace. It feels good to move, good, and relax. Okay, for our last one, we're gonna do a bridge on the ball. So I'm going to actually lay on the ball here. I'm gonna sit on it first. And it's always a good idea to sit on the ball. Make sure your bearings are good, you feel okay. Now you're slowly gonna walk it out so that my head, neck, and shoulders are relaxed and my hips are off. And we're gonna lift the hips up and slowly bring it down. So when we lift, we're only holding it for about a split second. We're not keeping the back very flat. We're allowing it to come down nice and smooth and controlled, just a gentle squeeze to your glutes, head, neck, and shoulders, relax, taking your time. And again, if this is not comfortable for you, you can definitely just do what you can and stop. Listening to your body is the most important thing and relax. Now from here, I'm just gonna use my hands to sit back up and that's the end of round one. Definitely get some water take a minute break and then we have round two coming up.
All right, moms, this is round two. Go ahead and grab your ball. We're gonna start with the stability ball wall squats. So my feet are a little bit more than shoulder width apart, and here we go. We're gonna go down and straight up. So as I'm going down, I am pushing my hips back, loading my quads, gently tightening my thighs as I stand, keeping my shoulder blades down and back, keeping my chest up, allowing the ball to give me the support that I need. Finding that sweet spot, having the ball right in between my mid and low back, nice and controlled, and relax. Okay, for our favorite, we're gonna hold the squat now. Here we go. We're gonna drop it down. Find that depth that works for you. Try not to round. Get those shoulder blades back and just breathe. Having this nice isometric hold, engaging the thighs, strong legs, which is definitely gonna come in handy when we push our babies out, right, for labor and delivery. Just a few more seconds. Don't hold your breath and relax. Okay, so now we're gonna get our upper body and core a little bit. I'm gonna turn around. My arms are gonna be directly in front of me, arm distance away from the ball. And we're gonna do stability ball push-ups, okay? So I'm gonna turn around here and here we go. Nice and smooth. Finding that range, again, that works for you. You shouldn't feel any pressure in that tummy. If you are, or if you feel like you're doming or coning, definitely stop. It's not fast. And we're not holding our breath. Inhale as I lower, exhale as I press. Nice and smooth and controlled. Okay, now from here, I'm gonna have both my forearms on the ball. We're just gonna hold a plank position. So my forearms are there, and we're gonna hold this, keeping our shoulder girdles engaged, right? We're not falling forward, and we're not rounding. Keeping a nice, flat back. Getting those muscles in between the shoulder blades to engage. Not holding our breath. You guys are doing great. Not letting our hips dip, right? And relax. Okay, we're gonna take that ball off the wall. And from here, we're gonna go into our squat presses. All right, let's do it. We're gonna go down and straight up. Remember, as we press, we're increasing that lever. Gently squeeze your buns as if your butt wants to eat your pants, right? Just to give you a little bit of a visual. Getting your glutes to engage, keeping the shoulders down and back. Doing great. Good job, guys. Nice and fluid, flowing through the movement. Doesn't have to be super fast. And relax. Go ahead and catch your breath. Check out the arms. We're gonna repeat it, but now we're gonna add that tapping motion to get our glutes, core, moving in a little bit of a different plane. Okay, go ahead and grab your ball. And here we go. We're gonna squat, tap and reach. Nice and smooth. Again, just fluid, flowy movement. Not moving too jerky or abruptly. You guys are doing great. Making sure the hips stay back. And your squat may be deeper than mine. That's totally fine. You find the depth that works for you. You should not feel any discomfort in your knees. You should just feel your muscles talking to you. Good, we're gonna catch our breath. I'm gonna set the ball down. We're gonna grab that mat. And we're gonna repeat with our side crunches. So remember, the inner leg is bent. The arm closest to the ball is gonna hug the ball, and our other arm is gonna be behind our heads. Here we go. So a side crunch here. Now it's up to you, you can do both. Or if you're like, you know what, not today. Just wanna do my upper, that's totally fine. Listening to your body, breathing through the movements. You have some options. Gently engaging your muscles, getting oxygen, 
increasing your blood flow, getting those endorphins pumping, taking care of you and taking care of your baby. And relax. Take your time as you reposition. Don't hurry, don't rush. And we're gonna do that same thing, but now we're gonna go on the opposite side. My inner leg is bent. My arm closest to the ball is gonna be hugging it. Here we go, nice and smooth. Again, I can just do the upper, or if you feel like, hey, I'm feeling pretty good, you can lift the leg. Totally up to you, right? You have options, which is great. Just engaging our obliques, using the ball for support, allowing it to just, allowing yourself to just hug that ball. Feels really good too. And we got a few more. Great job, catch your breath. Okay, our last exercise. Remember, first sit on the ball, get your bearings before you actually lay on it. So you're gonna sit on the ball first. Make sure that it feels pretty good. Catch your breath. You're gonna walk it out so that the ball is really in between the shoulder blades, head, neck, and shoulders relax. My legs are about a little bit more than hip width apart, and we're gonna bridge. Here we go. You're gonna squeeze the glutes, slowly lower. Again, just think therapeutic, fluid, controlled motions, getting all the tension out of your head, neck and shoulders, breathing as you move, using the ball for just some support. It feels good getting our legs today, upper body, some core. Nice job and relax. And from here, I'm gonna use my hand, walk it back up. And I am gonna sit and face you. We're just gonna stretch out for a little bit. Take a nice wide stance with your feet. We're just gonna bring that right arm up. And exhale, hard part is over, right? Hope you guys are feeling good feeling more loose, feeling a little work without overdoing it, bring it away. And if you really enjoyed this workout, thank you so much for joining us. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel at Hey Fit Mom. Like the video, definitely share it forward with friends and family. We just love to be able to do what we do and support you throughout your pregnancy and throughout motherhood. And that really helps us to continue to really live our passion, right? Take a deep breath. Exhale, nice and smooth, push it away. We're just gonna gently bring that right arm, excuse me, left arm up, turn around, just gentle rotation to the spine. Deep breath again, exhale, and then take that right arm, go the opposite way. Let the left arm follow. Again, just a few deep breaths. Exhale. Breathing, especially during the third trimester, is so important. Your body is changing, baby is growing. So it's good to take a few moments, take a few deep breaths. And from here, both arms are gonna come up. And exhale, push it away. One more, guys. Last one, deep breath. And exhale. Thanks so much for joining. Make sure you subscribe to Hey Fit Mom, and we'll see you next time. Ciao for now.